Hello guys, welcome to this new video. And this video, as the name suggests, we're going to be unboxing the Apple Watch Series 5. This one was released right about the same time the iPhone 11 lineup was. So we're going to rip it open, of course, and see what's inside. In front here, we just have Apple Watch written. Nothing much to see here except that this is the silver or well white color one. So guys, let's get into the box. Of course, there's a pull tab here to get into the box, but it's already started ripping open itself, trying to deny me my full unboxing experience. Let's do this. In here, we have the watch box. We have the band here, the spot band. Open this up, a long band, a short band, and well, the other end of the band, I guess. Now to the watch box itself. Round back, we have here the model number MWVD2LLA, Series 5, 44mm, silver, aluminum, white, sport band. Designed by Apple in California. Here we have the 5 watt charger. The charging cable, of course, with the magnetic base. And of course, this. The watch face itself in this very nice, premium feeling, soft touch material. Let's get that out. Here it is. Of course, it's 544mm. I actually did not plan to get this one. I wanted the space gray or black one. However, it was on sale and this was the only color they had left. I'm not bothered about the color too much because I already went ahead to buy a black watch band from Spigen, my favorite case manufacturers. Let's get the bands in. I believe this goes in here like so. Yes. And this should go in here like so. It clicks in, so that's nice. And somehow I filed it on already. But that's good, that's, that was the next thing I was going to do it that way. Now we have the watch power done, next thing I want to do is connect to our phone. And to do that, phone is unlocked, swipe up. Now get a prompt in it saying Apple Watch. Use your iPhone set up this Apple Watch. Click continue. Now basically we just have to scan the watch face here. The Apple Watch is paired. Set up Apple Watch. On which wrist do you wear your Apple Watch? Definitely left. Connecting to your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. Agree. Sign into your account. This may take a few minutes. Definitely, I have a few minutes. Cloud route tracking. Uh, zero. Siri. Okay. Watch analytics. Don't share. Okay. Passcode. We actually need to create a passcode on the watch itself, so we can do that. Activity screen. Skip this step. Yeah, definitely keep it up to date. Emergency SOS. Continue. Clock faces. Continue. Choose data. Watch is syncing. It's done syncing now. It took around 10 minutes or so. It says your watch is ready. Press the digital account to start. Nice haptic feedback there, and we are in. The phone here it says welcome to Apple Watch. Click OK there. You can set the watch face stand this Apple Watch there. Some other settings here. I'll change the watch face because all we have is too bright, so I'll just come in here, go here, and set. Now you can see that watch face is set. For the control center, I'll swipe up. For notifications, I'll just swipe from here. Change your watch face, all you have to do is just swipe right and it keeps cycling through all the available watch faces. When you press the digital crown, you see all the apps available and obviously press again to go back home. Pressing the style button pulls up a menu where you have settings, music, timer, and you know just shortcuts to stuff you probably use most except workout for me. Now I'll just quickly put it on. Getting this on one hand relatively easy. It looks nice. Well, I rather have black. In the watch app, you have a lot of options, of course, including customizing the watch faces and your general settings and all that. You also have a list of available apps on your phone that you can install on your watch. As far as I know, the difference between the Series 5 and the Series 4 is that the Series 5 has this new always on display feature, which of course means you can set the display to always be on. Also, the Series 5 has a new compass which, well, I guess, 
is useful if you get lost a lot. Finally, what I feel like is the most important new feature of the Series 5 is that it now ships with 32 gigs of storage compared to the 16 gigs of storage in the Series 4. That's going to be very useful to install more apps and you know to keep more music and stuff on your watch itself. Anyways guys, that's been the video. I hope you enjoyed it one way or the other. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.